and welcome back to another episode of the Jake Williams Show, episode 24. Now, this is going to be a very different episode than you're used to. This is going to be the first time I've ever had guests on this show, and it's going to be Tommy and Luke. You'll find out in the episode itself what we call ourselves. And uh, we're going to get together every couple months and record a couple episodes, and it's going to be whatever we want to talk about. Um, this time in particular, we're just going to be talking about the memories we have together and all the stupid stuff we got into when we were kids. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you on the other side. Dude, that hurt so fucking bad. I, like, dropped, and it was just like... <laughs> it hurt so bad. It looked... I mean, that but big one. but what I was saying is that like I remember in that house, like in your kitchen, how the kitchen was set up. You're like had that weird island thing in the middle. So your mom like came over because it was like a fuck ton of us. She like threw down like five Casey's pizzas. We all started eating that shit, and I was like by the slice, like shoving it down yeah. my throat. I I think I think I ate a pizza. pizza by myself. Yeah. When we were in there, I was like, fuck. Yeah. Hello. We ate a shit ton, dude. We did, dude. Hello, I and went wha- upstairs and was like, hey, Michael, what you watching? Blue's Clues? It's for babies. What? <laughs> cool. Yeah. All right. That's, uh, <laughs> you said that? <laughs> yeah. Watch right. Blue's Clues. All right. It's for babies. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, let's get serious. We're recording this. Get, we can't have fun on this show. I don't know. He was like, what, like? Can I do it? Can yes. I do a can I do a proper intro and then we can just jump into it? Sure. Okay. Thanks. This is brought to you by Modelo. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Jake Williams Show. Now this Fuck, is a different episode because uh, this is the trilogy part one. Trilogy. What? What? trilogy. You drink. God damn it! That whole time oh, really? you didn't knock the mic wow. stand off. Did you? Fucking really? It's fine, dude. I'm, Luke, it's fine. Luke lost his I'm fucked stand. up enough where I can just hold it. <laughs> He's had a few beers, and it is almost four You've in the like Not beer. even fucking four. I'm not drinking because I have to work had like later. a beer. A beer. I've had like three beers, and I had this. Oh, wait. You had those different ones. Okay. okay. I had that one. All right, guys. And I had that guys. shitty one, then that other shitty one. And then Tommy. The Modelo. Tommy. What? <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck about your Modellos, right? I'm talking Modelo. about his Modellos. <laughs> Modelo. Anyways, when I think what? of Modelo... Uh, all right, shut the fuck up. I got to restart. I Sh- think about like a really sexy... No, we don't like, have to restart. I need to suave. restart and give a proper intro to the show. Oh, my God. Shut your face. Like, like super suave, like masculine Mexican guy. It was like, hey... Modelo. I just told you to shut your face. Forget it. I will. (laughs) I'm gonna pre-record a separate intro for this. That's fine, dude. I'm gonna do that. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's tan. He's leathery. Okay. He's got. All right. He's got jet black hair with like just a slight white to his sideburns, and he just comes out. (laughs) Modelo. And then a bitch comes over. Jesus Christ. Holds on to his arm, hands him a a Modelo, and then he just smirks at the camera like close up. And then they walk back inside to fuck. That's pretty much what the Modelo's fucking yeah, commercial that, is. That feels like a very generic it's commercial. It's like the I'm guy is saying, dressed man. up and he looks fucking fly. And He's just fucking just, just sexy. All right, so sexy. <laughs> we call ourselves the Trilogy. Yes. Because uh, we've, See, been to get, we've been <clears> friends <throat> our whole lives. We're family. Now, people who have never watched anything with 402 films, you might not know who these people are. So right in front of me, smiling, no, uh, is Luke Moyer. I was gonna say that Jacob Williams is the, the, the epic intro, to the the installment that is the the trilogy. I am. Tommy, Tommy is. I was born first. I'm the Tommy, link. Tommy is the Dark Knight to this group. Oh, okay. He's he's the middle. He's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> and, I wouldn't say and that then, he's the best. And then you come over here and you got the epic conclusion. You got the fucking finish. Dark Knight Rises, so you you're got disappointed the fucking... when you get to Luke. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. It's a great movie. Fuck you. But uh, the other guy that we were talking nah, about. Nah, dude. The middle I'm, of the trilogy. I'm Return of the Jedi. Jedi. I'm Return of the Jedi. Fuck you for fucking me. What? Yeah, dude. You're New Hope. Let's, let's face it. Yeah, the New Hope's a great... That's my favorite Star Wars movie. The first one. Actually, really? I love Emperor. He's he's Emperor. Empire. Well, yeah, that's what I meant. I'm, I'm a little toasty. <laughs> 
I like Empire. Uh, I like Empire. That's my Empire favorite. Strikes Back. Yeah. 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 Second one. Yeah. Empire yeah, you're, Strikes you're, Back. You're by far like the best of in the trilogy. That's such bullshit, dude. I'm so much better than him. I am. I mean, you're the wrong, one that started man. it, technically. <laughs> But I mean, that's why I'm revered. I have one of the most <laughs> iconic lines in my movie, in a, in a movie, in a cinema. So yes, that's what I mean when you. you see this episode. It's gonna say episode twenty four, the trilogy part one. Gonna We're gonna have good. more of these meetings in the coming months on the Jake Williams show, and it's mostly because we 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 miss seeing each other. And we like to talk about ourselves. So that's Tommy's what you're a drifter, man. We might drift into he comedy just bits. Like goes off and. Like you don't, you don't really know where he's going to be next. Fuck you, Luke. You must him, And he's like, hey, man, let's do it. But he's not saying, like, let's do it now. Why are you talking like that? He says, let's do it sometime. That's Tommy's mentality. That's his philosophy. Is, but why are you talking like that? We're going to do it. Because I'm trying to be like. Matthew McConaughey? I, no, not Matt. Tommy, I'm just, man. He's no, a griffin. If I was doing Matthew McConaughey, you know. Yeah. McConaughey. I'm just doing, like, you, man. Like. Just a sensual sound. Judge? It's like a sensual sound in my voice where I'm like, I'm trying to whisper sweet, sweet somethings in your ear. Okay, okay. First but of all, you're right there. Just tell me. First I'm of just all, saying. first of all, <laughs> who cares about your voice? He's a free spirit. Why he's like, are you guys? Judging? You know he's gonna do it. You, guys, you just don't know when. You guys he's gotta. Do it. You better talk me up. I love you, bro. No, you got. I, I think McConaughey you. would do better than that. Too. He'd be like. Tom, Tom, it treats time like a flat surface. Like a flat He's surface. He's a grifter, man. He's a grifter. You don't know where. Will you stop? I'm doing this myself. <laughs> He's your hype, man. He just. I don't need you to hype me up right now. I got it. I just love how uh, people think I really hate Tommy because I always lash out at him for no reason. I just yell at him like, Tommy. And he's like, what? Cause and we'll like, be just sitting there and I'll just yell at cause, him. Because you're like the older brother, man. Yeah. You just like to look out for your, yeah. your little buddy. You sound like a fucking Apple or some shit. What? Like come over and come over and myself. Come over and myself. Rubs the lotion on the skin. Rubs the lotion on the skin. Yes. It rubs the lotion on the skin. Yes, on the skin. <laughs> what are we it's just doing? Like Fashion Switch Easter Nazi? Switch <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, is. put the lotion on the skin. Oh yeah, you need to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is what this is turning into. We're just, <laughs> who's the Japanese? <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I haven't done a lot of actions hey, in a while. We've so already all the same. We've already told people that this is gonna get off the rails. It's just us shooting the shit. You remember? You the Do you remember? Do you remember? Can you not sing for okay. once, please? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? It's just a natural reflect reflection, reflex, reflex. to uh, yell at Tommy. Can you believe it? I'm the one not drinking because I am being responsible. Only because he has to work. Like I'm a only bitch. drinking like four beers. <laughs> and you've been up all day. You're going to be fucked for work. Yeah, I should take a nap. You probably should. I'll take yeah, a nap you probably you. shouldn't because you've been up nap since like work. 8 o'clock. I need to take a nap. I've kind of been up since 8 o'clock too. Yeah. So, uh, Tommy. Yeah. Dogs, you, uh, you've been on a weird sleep. journey. The last year, yeah, uh, cool. you moved to uh, Dallas. I wanted to know what that was like. Um, so like what? Nice. A year in Dallas, almost? No, six months. Right? Yeah, about six months, Dallas. Because yeah. I would say it was like August ish to December. Yeah, August fifteenth is so when four I months, five months. Yeah, it was all right. It was different, you know, being by myself, you know, pretty much. But because you didn't have. You didn't have, like, actual friends? No, I didn't. You didn't have a dealer? <laughs> I didn't make you any didn't friends have... while I was down Well, there. yeah, because you just worked, didn't you? That's yeah, all you did. Yeah, pretty much. And I just drifted. Yeah. Went on I mean, I went on a... Went to the Bahamas. Yeah, when did, cool how thing. Was that? I went Tell to us... California, which was awesome. Tell us about your trip, yeah. Yeah, I went to California, which was fucking great. It was cool. I mean, it was different. There's a lot of hobos. Driving a Dodge Charger. But, yeah. yeah. I saw you driving that rental car. I saw he's got, a, cool. he's got a Texas license. Yes. You want to see it? You want to see, what, you got a car? No. <laughs> but I have a license. No, he needed a license to be able to drive. Oh, he has a Texas. Oh, I thought. So they got him a Texas license. I, I, was, I, was, I thought you were saying he got a Texas license plate. No. I was like, no. what does he have a license plate without <laughs> no, a no, car? No, 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 actually, <laughs> that'd be badass. But anyways. Uh, you have a street sign? I don't own a street. 
California was cool. I mean, we went. It was like in Palm Springs, which was cool because it's nice. like surrounded by these mountains and stuff. It's fucking awesome. And uh, so, also, why are we in the dark? But I lost my fucking iPod in California, which <laughs> sucks. But anyways, oh, uh, quit. Just, just, I love you. Uh, and when I went. Uh oh! Also, I went on a cruise, guys. And hey, have you guys been on a cruise yet? Yes, I have. Have you been I on a have. cruise? It's pretty Jake, fucking cool. It'd be fucking perfect for you guys. Seriously, you and Ashley would have a fucking awesome time. You guys would have even more fun than I had, dude. Like, and their whole, like their whole, like, dude, everything that you can do. I got there, like third degree shit. sunburn when I went on my cruise. Tommy, what if I told you I was already planning on going on a cruise this year? Oh yeah, but. I haven't put money towards it, but I thought about it. Do it, dude. I'm serious, dude. It's only <laughs> a couple grand to... for two people. For two people, it's less than that. I, I want to go on a cruise to, like, Jamaica or something. That's yeah. What, that's what oh, like. yeah. They, they got tons that you can choose from. They always have a Caribbean one cruise. every other day. Pretty cool. Yeah. I, uh, you got to do the all-inclusive, though, so you can get booze and shit. I loved uh, I, I, I would love Jamaica. I'd go during Because I loved too. being in Mexico, dude. New Mexico is I would cool. I would gladly go back to Cancun. We went super Man, tourist. I want to go there. That would be awesome. We went super tourist Mexico, so it was like they don't open their stores unless there's a bunch of white men coming off the boat. So yeah. like I saw one guy on the edge of the pier, and we were like coming in, and he literally looked up, goes, like throws up his he hands. Like, he like takes off, and all you see is people open up their <laughs> fucking shop doors, like it, like in a movie, like their they garage just... doors. It was like it was literally a movie. Get it open! I, Cause I'm on, I'm in like the 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 cafeteria, and I'm sitting by the window, and I see it like rolling through, and I just see this this like I don't know, he's probably like five two, mm-hmm. like little like stereotype Mexican dude, and he's wearing all white with his like flip flops. Does he have a big thick mustache? Oh, he's got a fucking thick mustache. <laughs> he's got the fucking like long hair. And he just throws his hands up, and he just takes off Speedy Gonzalez back into town, and like I just see shop doors just fucking flying up. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, when we went to Mexico, and we'll get back to Tommy's cruise story. Shit again. was so cheap in the Seattle area too. I was, I oh was yeah, recovering currency, from sunburn. The exchange. Was I was recovering from sunburn, so like I wasn't doing anything really. Yeah. So I went in. I found a bar. I sat down and I drank dollar t- dollar Coronas for like four hours until we got back on the boat. That's nuts. My mom bought me a Blue Demon, a Blue Jordan mask for nine bucks. I bought the Nacho Libre That's pretty one. Pretty awesome, man. But uh, it was like legit, like uh, authentic. Blue I Demon. think uh, New or Mexico would be a lot like San Juan when I went there. San Juan was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, they had a beautiful woman, <laughs> dude, and they had these huge churches. Like they were massive, dude. Like the whole city would go to those. Yeah, dude, churches. I know. I've, I've, I've seen thought, Fast Furious. I thought you said they had beautiful women. Like when you said they I had mean, beautiful they have women. Be- and you said huge. I immediately was like, "Please tell me." And be like, "They had huge tits." Yeah. <laughs> no, no, huge no, 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 no. So knackers. friggin' fake. I want to just pop one of them. I just want to like go. Because <laughs> 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 I imagine Tommy would say something like that. He's yeah. a dirty boy. Yeah, he is. I would. Uh, so, but uh, yeah. How was your cruise? But uh, you know, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was cool. You know, it was just like it was. It was different going out of co- the country because I didn't ever think I would. You know, like I've yeah. never been out. Now that I have a passport, that's all I want to do is go to other countries. Cool. We all three have passports, dude. Oh my god, we should do a annual trilogy trip. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. Let's go to Europe. <laughs> Let's backpack. Let's for go the to Alps. Amsterdam, dude. Let's go to Europe. Fuck some horse. Ne- Luke and I can't. Fuck the whores for you. <laughs> hey, I'm they're legal there. Did you, are you making milk and cookies over there? <laughs> <laughs> Recording a podcast, I look over at Tommy's just dunking, <laughs> dunking some chips ahoy in a little mug of fucking milk. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so when I went to Mexico, we, we stayed at the Hard Rock Hotel there. And it was um, all expenses paid. And when you spend... I'm doing that for the honeymoon. When you spend four to five days in paradise, 
and all your drinks are essentially, I mean, you've paid for them, but they're essentially free. Mm-hmm. Oh, you won't know how food. great it is how until you're on the plane back home. To be and you're like, oh no, you. I have to pay for my meals now. I have to pay to for drunk alcohol. Mm-hmm. Just like casino, dude. Right. Or, uh, I would wake casino. up and I would have three or four drinks. Dude, I was oh, a serious alcoholic. Oh, sweet it is to be like drunk next, by like noon. Cruise, dude, I had food on tap, dude, all fucking day long mm-hmm. all types of food barbecue we're gonna do we're gonna do i don't know where we're going Everything. but we're doing the all-inclusive on uh for a honeymoon and like i want to do i want to drink so much that by the first day i have my money's worth like that's how drunk i want to be that's what happened trip. that that happened to me because we left uh yeah we got there on a tuesday and we left on a saturday and i remember when we landed there tuesday it was like eight o'clock and i got shit faced Mm -hmm. like i was i literally like almost just fell on top of this guy in the uh, the elevator (laughs) like i was so bad and ashley got so mad at me because i was just so drunk and that was Mm -hmm. the first night and i'm like i don't know if i can i gotta pace myself the rest of the week but i'm just trashed and we have a hot tub in our room like a little jacuzzi like we were living baller status it was fantastic nice because it had like a little jacuzzi, and then the other side it had just a sink. And then the, the think about the paradise sex though, like destination sex is so much better. Well, uh, if you guys ever go to Palm you know Springs, what I'm talking go about. Palm Springs, and it is fucking like out of the movies, <laughs> dude. Like, well, everything uh, looks like you, know, you can fuck in the showers, dude. If you, you we had a really cool it. shower too. It was uh, it was one of those like clear all glass ones, like a look like a phone booth kind of. We had yeah. one of those, but although I was very drunk, I reached the peak level of vacation on night one. I'm like, it can only go down from here. Because I get <laughs> in the bedroom, I was like, oh yeah, fuck, we got a jacuzzi. I start up the jacuzzi, and Ashley's laughing at me because I start up the jacuzzi. But before I do that, I'm butt naked in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and I order a cheeseburger and fries. Fuck yeah. yeah. And so it comes yes. up right as the jacuzzi gets done. So uh, Ashley was laughing at me because I just started laughing. Because naked Jake eating a cheeseburger and a jacuzzi. I, like, I, got come my, on. I got my legs sprawled out like a like across the jacuzzi. And I'm just leaned back as far as I can be. And bubbles are just filling my crotch. Like <laughs> just parts of my body are covered in bubbles. I'm just like, I'm just like, <laughs> she's like, what? Laughing at me because I'm just munching on this cheeseburger, and she's laughing at me. I'm like, I'm living my best life, <laughs> uh, and then she's like, Yeah, you look like you're having the time of your life. Yeah, without a doubt, I'm going back to a tropical destination again. Fuck yeah, I, I want to go on a cruise or something like that. Because when I got home, I was like, I miss it already. You know why? Because it was the first time I've ever been on a vacation where I didn't have to pay for anything, and I had to like budget. In my head, it was all just, you know, when we went to Colorado, it was great. And I would gladly go back to Colorado. The only part that I hate about it is the drive. It's like a 10 yeah. hour drive. Going through Nebraska, man. Nebraska's well, a going dead from fucking state. Centri- going from central Middle Iowa. Of Nebraska's dead as fuck. That's it. Yeah. Like, there's literally nothing for Going miles. from central Iowa to yeah. Colorado is so shocking how much different Colorado is and how much, how beautiful of a state that is, man. Oh, yeah. When you get in there and you see those mountains for the first time, it's gorgeous. You see, like, the, the really close-up, like, little hills. And you see the and mountains, and, and then you and see the fucking mountains. And you see the red rocks. And then you just see, like, the fucking clouds, and you see just a faint little outline Dude, of a mountain. Yeah. It was awesome, again, because we went on a trip where uh, it was with Ashley's college friends, and all of them are actually adults and make money, and I don't. Because <laughs> I try and do this, and I can't make any money. Podcast, cry. Mm. Please comment, but subscribe. we got like Give yeah, us fucking money. Yeah, Jake Williams show, <laughs> loudandopinionated dot com. Uh, what was really cool about it is they all had make good enough money, and we got in this cabin in in the woods in Colorado Springs. It's fantastic. He survived. He was one of the only survivors. Except for that one time, we all got in the hot tub and. That was not good. We were in there too. We were in there for like a couple hours, and I was like, "Oh god!" You can go stare at all being in the hot tub too long. <laughs> Fucks up with your giblets. Just fuck it up with your giblets. So yeah, those are the vacations I took. You know what? So you went to, you started in Miami on the the cruise. Yep. Cruise? I've never been. Well, yeah, I've been. To, wait, no, I had never been to Miami, but I've been to Florida, obviously. Yeah, but, you've, been to, you've been to Tampa. I thought you said you were in Miami and mm-hmm. the Snapchat thing. Okay. Yep. And that was the last of my service because right when I got on the 
the you know the boat you you don't have any service or anything you can't if you if you uh oh, basically you just have no phone if you have if you try to have service it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg you have, yeah you have to we it. had wi-fi at our hotel but my phone was very spotty with wi-fi and honestly you don't give a shit when you're in paradise <laughs> oh yeah Continue yeah. your Maddie story, was Tommy. <laughs> Maddie was saying that, like, when what? we go on our honeymoon to, like, not bring our phone. And I was like, well, what if fucking something happens? We need our phone. It's like, okay, well, we'll just put it in our airplane mode. Well, we need it. We need it. Phone like seven days. Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> seven. Uh, seven. What's this? What is that movie? Six days, seven nights? Yeah. That's Maddie's. That's one of her favorite movies. That's how I know about that because I remember you bought that for her one year and I was like, it's yeah, a yeah, random I don't, movie. I don't, I don't think it's that good, but it's, she fucking loves it. It's really not. And I, <laughs> I want to say that, that that movie is almost like Dumb and Dumber for me. Right. Where you just pop that fucking thing in anytime, any place, anywhere, and it's it's a good time. Yeah, I would say that about I could quote the whole entire movie of Anchorman. I could do every line. I've seen it. It's my favorite movie of all time. I honestly think that growing up, me and Tommy were like Harry and Lloyd. Yeah. And I was the gas man. No, no, <laughs> you weren't the gas man. You were like Okay, on okay. A little bit <laughs> a little bit man. more in depth right uh explanation of our friendship. I think that it was like before Night at the Roxbury was an actual movie and they didn't get Jim Carrey to do it. When it was Jim Carrey, Will Ferrell, Chris the S- Kattan, the SNL that's us skit? three, yeah. Mm-hmm. And just in the back. Tommy's the situation because he just kind of like, like <laughs> le- leans in between the two seats and just like adds extra bullshit. And he won't put a seatbelt on, and that almost killed him. Yeah, right? when, when we got that car accident where we yeah. rolled the car, he was like, "Yeah, I'm Tommy. I like to be in, inside the action." <laughs> and then we kiss your shoulders. <laughs> yeah, he just come up and go. What are you doing? Just letting you know you're safe. Let you know you're safe. Two minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, Tommy Nap. Tommy Nap, Wreck Angel. I've never actually shared that. <laughs> Wreck Angel. Wreck Angel. Angel. I've never actually uh, shared that story on a podcast. That was a wild. Uh, that died. was a wild experience. We literally man. died. When I seen you, your head whip like that, I was like, "Whoa, this is fucking." No, if I didn't have my seatbelt on, I would have. Smash my face on the concrete. We would all be dead. I would be dead, yeah. If it would have hit all... where your a door was at, I would have fucking flung out of that bitch and I would have died. Uh, yeah. If it was head on, Tommy would be dead. Like, <laughs> right over. Right right over. <laughs> yeah, we got into a car accident when we uh, lived in Lincoln. We were going to a party, which is funny, because we had, we had, we brought beer too. We were good about yeah, it. Yeah, we had a case of beer. We were going seat. to a friend's party and. Yeah, because uh, it was a couple of like uh, me and Tommy's like high school friends right. that we hadn't seen in a couple of years, because I think they like moved away and came back. Yep. So we were like, "Fuck yeah, dude! Let's get a case. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Let's fucking party." We were ready to Didn't party. Didn't see them. Still haven't seen them. Yep. <laughs> Which was but like, yeah, we it, it could have made or break our fucking lives. We we got t- that night. we got t boned from uh, the driver's side. We got t boned and it hit so hard that we. We rolled, rolled twice, twice and landed and like, back on the tires. It was like a, it was like a, like a, like a top. So like the car was a top, so it was rolling like on the ground, around, but it was also like in air rolling sideways. So it was almost like a fucking just the motherfucker flipped sideways. Yeah, it was like roll, a fucking. Roll. It was a roll and flip and all the way. It was it was facing nuts. the way the the opposite direction of the car hit us. On, you like know. it's something you see in a fucking action flick, right? It was it was glass fucking we, everywhere. We should have died that night. But oh yeah, I like to. If explain we would have got hit story, again. We had a fucking oh shit. If we got no, we went like from both sides. Well, I, I like to explain this that like way, experience. We could have landed on top of a like car. Uh, something you see in a movie where like there's no noise of the actual like happening, and all you hear is like. Like some kind of Beethoven, like classical, like Mozart type shit. Oh yeah, and you're like slow motion, like in the yeah. air, and like you can see like everything. Like you're just like a couple of seconds ahead. It's of like everything. that Quicksilver scene in the X Men. Yeah, of the or like uh, Amazing Spider Man when, when Stan Lee's like doing the books with yeah. the headphones on, and he's doing all that shit. Like that was like what it was because I got like I could see everything, Literally. and I, I the car stopped. I don't I don't remember I got out. honestly I don't remember seeing anything. 
because all I saw from my side, I didn't see any sort of impact, but all I saw was the car start to move, and then as we're rotating, I just saw red lights. And it was like just red, or like street lights, green, yellow, like all those colors, and that's all I could see. And then we land, and it was kind of cool because it was kind of like uh, Ace Ventura when Nature Calls, when he <laughs> parks the car and it do, 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 rolls, and then he lands it on one side, and then it comes down. That's what it felt like. Yeah, like, it, it did. Literally it did like that. something out it of rocked. a movie. Yeah, because we landed on two wheels and then slammed back mm-hmm. down on all fours. Almost like Furious 7 when The Rock wrecks the fucking ambulance and just walks out and just fucking starts what, what, wailing <laughs> with the machine gun. Like, that was basically what happened. Well, no, wait, it got my side. It got the passenger side because I had to get out through your door. Because it, we, it we, caved in. We, we got hit from the left. We rolled. We rolled on when your we side hit, and hit ground, we hit the ground. The whole like right side went to shit first. Yeah, because I had to get out of your door. My door was caved in. I remember total getting it, like crushed the top when it rolled. Mm-hmm. I remember getting out and Luke was just like, when he got out, I he just started like pacing like back and forth. like I unbuckled like, my seatbelt. Like, I unbuckled my seatbelt, took off my jacket, don't know why, folded it, laid it on like the seat. And just walked away and started like pacing, like, I'm like I wasn't like, fucking freaked out that we just fucking died. I for some reason I wasn't put a freaked penny out about the accident. I was, I was like, my was, mom is all going the to be pissed. Exploded in my face. My mom is going to be pissed. Of that case in the back. Of yeah, but they wouldn't car. have. But they wouldn't you have done driving. anything. Well, I know. I, I I had no idea why I was freaking out. And you didn't have an open container. The only open container was when it fucking busted and when we rolled. Yeah, and the cop was like, just like, "I'm just like gonna ignore right where we got hit." Too. <laughs> like, you didn't have an open container in there, so you're good. So you got, you're gonna already gonna get in enough. In and enough then you, you, well, cel- you done you celebrating in front of the fucking police officer. After yeah, the fact. Dude, fucking, I had to br- do a breathalyzer, or whatever test. He did an old Napoleon Dynamite thing. He had one beer, and I was like, "All right, well, I had a beer, but it was like a couple hours ago." Yeah. He's like, "All right, fine." So I breathalyzed, and he goes, all right, double zeros. And I did one of those, like, clap in Breakfast Club, like, fist pumps. Even though his car is just totaled. (laughs) Fucking. And then he was like, so you want to call a tow truck, get it taken away, you know, call your insurance and everything? I was like, no, dude, I can drive it. It's fine. I'll drive it home. And he goes, have you seen your car? And I look out the window, like, through the, like, the cage, and I'm like, (sighs) fuck. It's like when you crush a pop bottle or a pop, pop can, can or a beer can. Like when you smash it, that's what his car looks like. My car like. was literally just destroyed. And uh, That's going to be the uh, the thumbnail for this video is a picture of it. Do you still have one? I'm pretty sure I do. I have my old phone. Uh, so I remember I wrote a paper about it first college, and it was called Rolling in the Jeep mm-hmm. instead of Rolling in the Deep. Play on words, Tom. I'll it's clip funny. this out and put this up separately. Call it's it Rolling funny. in the Jeep. Rolling in the Jeep. Rolling in the Jeep. Somebody no, joked that I was unbreakable because I've been like hit my head a lot of ass. I've been in like four. In I've, Jeep half of those are between me and you. <laughs> yeah, but I've never, I've never actually been driving, and it's always been like nasty accidents, yeah. and I walk away just fine. Well, the first one wasn't I'm that bad. Because I'm fucking unbreakable. The first one wasn't <laughs> that bad. That me and you got in. Yes, you it were. was just because no, I, sure yeah, it was just uh, stupid Asians hit me. Hey, which pisses me off, by the way. Oh my god. Because Delay. they basically <laughs> told me they basically told me we had to pin it on somebody because it was a group it was a group of Asian exchange students. There's like eight of them, and it's a fucking like sedan. There's only five seats, so they were already they were already packed in a little too tight. I'm gonna have to cut this out. <laughs> they didn't have like ins- it, they did they things. didn't have they didn't have insurance on the car. Oh, when you it guys wasn't. Got hit it the, wasn't their car. When I was trying to get you guys to that party, yeah, yeah is this what you're when you're yeah. trying to tell us how to get there, they they didn't have insurance on the car. They didn't have well. a license because they were in. They weren't. They were from actual China. I had to drive and back home that night. They Wait, didn't. Stop, did I? Tommy. It wasn't even their car. Thank you. So it was like all this shit <laughs> on them, up. and they basically told me the 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 cop basically told me they don't technically exist. So we're going to pin it on somebody, and here's a ticket. Have yeah. fun. I was like, fuck you. We made the wall. Yeah, yeah, you guys are on the wall. The yeah, trilogy yeah. is on the wall. The trilogy. In my apartment. 
so I wanted to kind of just go through the best, the greatest hits. So uh, the funnest times we've had together. The greatest hits. <laughs> uh, what is it? New Year's fourteen. That's, we don't go through the 15. greatest hits at twenty four years old. That might that might be fifteen. I, I moved, I'm twenty five. I moved to we Omaha keep making greatest 16. hits. I moved to Omaha in like sixteen, so it might have been fifteen. It's either fourteen or fifteen. No, you were there before that. You were there. In, I you moved were to Omaha. In you 16. moved to um, uh, or yeah, Omaha. I thought you said Lincoln. I was like, you were in Lincoln. No, I moved to Omaha in sixteen because I was lived with I was in Lincoln for almost three years. So, uh, <sighs> Tommy is a piece of shit. Tommy was there for <laughs> almost three days <laughs> because Tommy <laughs> left us. Fucking moron. And then I left. I told I told Tommy this last night when we were talking. I was like. I, I don't want to be a dick, but thank you, buddy, because me and Jake are a lot more close now than... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luke and I became great friends because we hung out all the time. That's true. Because Tommy left us. We went, from, we, went from fighting, we went from fighting for Tommy's affection to just giving it to each other. Yeah. And we just... We, after we blew oh, each other... Oh, fuck it. <laughs> put a fucking bow on after, it. Tom, the I, night I after we God. just put each other's penises in our mouths, yeah. it changed everything. I so told Tommy, I was like, I swear to God, dude, he only invited me... <laughs> He only invited me to his birthday party so he could secretly try to steal my sleeping bag. Like that's I his did. whole plot. Because it was a Batman. We're not even fucking Batman. friends, dude. We weren't fucking friends. I then. beat him up when we were kids once. Yeah, and I can't do it again. I guarantee it. <laughs> we'll fight right now. Come at me, bro. <laughs> kick your ass, Luke. I'll I'll stand in for your dad, and you can try to kick my ass. <laughs> he's right though that's the worst thing i miss my dad dearly because uh, a few days ago was the third year anniversary of his yeah, passing yeah. And i Which said you know also what? why i keep doing the jokes i feel bad but <laughs> i don't want to tell him that so yeah i'm still pissed um my dad got away with it like i could never beat him up and he yeah. died before i could it was the fight of the century that never happened so if there is a heaven i'm gonna see his ass there <laughs> So you would do a do a do a Bane way. versus Batman scene where you like just see him from across the crowd. There's my son. <laughs> your ass, I will kick. You think the Snickers is your ally? Because <laughs> he likes Snickers. He's yeah, fat, he was a fat man. <laughs> Saint Peter, <laughs> this is my you son. Like Snickers, Watch me cream. kick his ass. I remember one time Tommy That's came over uh, in high school. We uh, had some of the devil's lettuce. And yeah. we raided my kitchen. Like, we ate. We ate all the fucking popsicles. Yeah, 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 we're getting pissed we're getting about, that. like, the ice don't, cream Don't bury the leaf. We, uh, yeah, we, we, we ate, like, a bunch of shit, though. Like, we ate a couple of those, like, Totino's party pizzas. A uh, half another. Yeah. I think a half of another frozen pizza that was still in the fridge. And then we ate, you know, those, like, grab bags? We ate, like, four or five of those each. And then the we grab bags, yeah, like the little grab bags of chips. Oh yeah, I thought you were talking about the snack packs and nutter butter, like the things. No, because those... I get those for fucking free now. And then we uh, yeah. eat. We get into the freezer and we eat like all the fucking fudge bars. And Dad is pissed because <laughs> then we're sitting down there and it, we're coming down and we're like, oh my god, we ate too much food. And my dad comes in, opens up the freezer. <laughs> There's like maybe. I think just one fudge bar left. He like, takes it. Jake, I can just imagine this right now. Jake, dude, Tommy, don't eat them all. Leave one for my dad so he doesn't get pissed. <laughs> what the fuck, Jake? <laughs> so then he opens the freezer, <laughs> sees the one fudge bar, <laughs> takes it, and then shuts it and goes, we ate all the fucking fudge bars. <laughs> we ate all the fucking fudge bars. And he slams the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Dad. My favorite memory, though, of your dad, Jack, is the night we tried there. to do, we tried to recreate the best night ever. Right, and that's Ashley shit too. Stay out of my food. And we go over to your house for I don't remember what it was. I think it was like have it. <laughs> we're trying to grab like a video, like a I think we were trying to go find Left for Dead or something. We went back to your house. Right, right. And your dad is like getting into bed, and he's like in his underwear. <laughs> and he goes, okay, let me clarify here. <laughs> the we were coming in through the back door of the house, and my dad Jake and my was like, we don't want to wake him up if we're going to go through the back to be quiet. Yeah. I thought it was late enough where, because my dad was a heavy sleeper. My dad and my stepmom were heavy sleepers. So I thought maybe we go back at like 9 or 10 o'clock. We go through the back door, and that's fine. So we, we walked through the back door. It wasn't and, fine. 
and it was like just when he's going to bed. The door was cracked open just enough. Just enough so you could see in. And he's getting into bed, Nothing. like crawling from the foot of the bed in his underwear, <laughs> and he just like stops <laughs> mid-crawl. What the fuck, Jake? <laughs> That's what's so funny, is he did come in from the side and <laughs> lay down like a normal person. <laughs> he like crawled. sensually, like provocatively, like slow motion crawled from the foot of the bed to the top Sees of the bed. us looking in. Stops, looks over. What the fuck, Jake? Because <laughs> again, <laughs> what the fuck? I want to, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and you just ducked our head and walked for it. Oh, Jesus. I, I, well, I want to reiterate. My dad was a very large man. <laughs> <laughs> so this it, was before he started doing the losing weight type shit, too. He, <laughs> he was very large. He was. So the image of this very fat man in his <laughs> underwear. Crawling into bed <laughs> is gonna stop anybody in their tracks because <laughs> they're gonna see that guy and they're gonna be like, "I gotta know where this goes. <laughs> What's he doing in there? Is he gonna make it? Is that a person? Is, is that a person or some candy? Like I don't know. <laughs> Again, I love I loved him. He was a great dad, but he he provided a lot of really funny moments with the uh, we had a fucking fun. Oh, yeah, man. that was the best thing. He doesn't care. He just well, we looks watched, straight at me. We what watched the football fuck, with him every freaking weekend, too. I remember one time he body oh, slammed God. Adam, our, uh, our buddy Adam. Remember that? <laughs> when Adam was doing something, and then they like they were like play fighting, and then my dad just like body slammed him. <laughs> <laughs> my dad didn't like him. Your dad was an asshole. Let's just put it at that. Called you a gay tennis player. For the longest time, I was trying to grow my hair out, and I had, like, long, like... You look like Justin Bieber. Bieber hair going, and I wore a sweatband. Yeah. And he called me a gay tennis player for a while. Early 2000s, man. Different time. Different Different time. time. I remember one time, he was yelling at my brother, and he's yelling something, and somebody left the door open, and my dad was livid about that. He had to go back and shut the door, and he's like... Who didn't shut the door? And I was like, I don't know. And then Justin was like, I didn't do it or whatever. And they de- my dad goes, well, it was just simple arithmetic. <laughs> my brother's like, what the fuck does math have to do with this? <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> I do. But he's like, dude, I'm taking your last Pepsi. I'm doing it. I'm gonna do fuck it. you, dude. I'm doing it. And he comes downstairs like a couple minutes later, like has it cracked open. He goes, "Dude, I did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it, dude." Um, Tommy and I uh, had some Cheech and Chong. <sighs> those, those were the days. I remember the first time? One of the first times you love him more than you do me, don't you? No, I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna talk about us smoking weed on the podcast. <laughs> I just remember the one time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and out of nowhere, we got za, and we cook a pizza. Trashed. I I think Tommy and I were bad for each other. Where is this? Your parents' house. Oh God. Like long. Like remember the time I got drunk in my mom's. Like right wedding? after you got kicked. Like you, your mom pulled you out, of Lincoln. It was like maybe uh. a couple months later. And we were like super hungry. It was the night where Michael was with the breadsticks. Like, Michael, you need to eat all of those? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. We, uh, those were good. Pizza and you yeah. like, fucking like, we got za. We got za. Shh. Sleeping. <laughs> I remember, the, do you remember the time when I got drunk at my mom's wedding? Mm-hmm. And, I mean, I was bad. And yeah, it had been. fucking smashed. I was I trashed. And I brought my ex girlfriend to that as a date. Oh fuck! I forgot you were there. Ma- uh, Jenny and Adam were there too. Hey, baby. God rest her soul. Night, and he got mad for me making a fucking thing of cereal for him. No, I didn't. No, you did. I made it. With Speaking you. of cereal, it's one night. I'm in the in the apartment, <laughs> all the way in the kitchen. We're at a party, and all the way across, like the whole apartment, onto the balcony, Jake looks over, sees me in the kitchen having a bowl of cereal. He drops everything he's doing. He does the whole mind-blown thing, 
runs inside. I may or may <laughs> not have been under some substances that night. Can I have a bowl of cereal? And I'm like, yeah, dude, go for it. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> when I am when I am under the influence, if I get a some food that I like, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm not gonna talk to you for like for however long it takes. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. That. I'm pretty sure it was like Lucky Charms. Chocolate lucky, lucky Charms. Yeah, something crazy. Because I will take it and I will consume it <laughs> in a way that an animal would, if they like a dog, if they've never had the human food. Because I was, I go. It's like he doesn't, the, he doesn't know when he's ever gonna get it again. You basically, just hear the breath, and then people will stare at me like, "You hungry? Like, are you okay? You not?" I eat? literally stood there with a smirk on my face because I was like, I was waiting for this because I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. he looked like. He was having a really good time with that uh, cereal, so I wanted some of it. Cereal. Cereal. You guys, I'm tired and I'm hungry. You're always tired and hungry. Tommy, tell me the story of story. your birth. <laughs> I was there, dude. Like, well, so I like I saw the light, and I like slowly, dark, <laughs> slowly crawled out of that snatch. That was my mom's. Let's not talk about our mom snatch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even like calling it like that. Remember that time uh, that. we almost got caught, or we did get caught, and you guys had curfew? <laughs> yeah. I was 16. They were 15. And believe it or not, we were not under any, we were, we were sober, completely we were, sober. We, this was before we discovered substances. Yeah, that was before we started drinking and smoking pot in high school. This is before Jake. Duked me into smoking pot, and I duked Luke into smoking pot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was a circle of us getting each other so, in trouble. We we had just been up like all night. We're fucking scaring the fuck out of each other. We're watching Which, scary yeah, movies. I don't, we were watching scary movies, so we thought it'd be funny to go outside and play hide and seek, essentially. Yeah. But the the trick is, when you find me, I scare you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a totally different game. It's not childish. <laughs> you're not 15, so 16. we we go and we're in this big ass field, literally a uh, fucking hop, skip, and a jump. Away across from the, house. the street from Tommy's house, it and we fucking like my initial thought was fuck cops duck. So we just fucking hit the dirt, thinking oh they're not gonna see us. They drive by and they see fucking three at uh, three fucking <laughs> teenagers face down in the first fucking of all, grass. Who was, uh, was it you or was it Tommy who saw the lights first? I think it I was did. Tommy, because Tommy yells hit the deck, or no you yelled it. I said fuck hit the deck because Tommy <laughs> saw the lights. And then I saw him, and my instinct was just be calm. That, that you didn't do anything wrong. You just <laughs> out late, whatever. But when you said hit the deck, it was an instinct to me. I'm like, and then I gotta I, do it. It was, it was when instinct. Was like, when he was like, "Fuck the cops," and I was like, "Shit, no, I can't I was, see us." You remember when Drop. I was like, "Crawl forward," because we needed to get into the shadow or whatever. Of the, like, yeah, little bank we kept moving. So then they come out <laughs> and they're like, "Have the lights fixed on us." So I'm like, "Don't move." I don't think they had a gun pulled out. Oh no no no! They just had a flashlight on us. I was like. And so we get up, and then there's this one cop uh, that he looks at us, and he's, like, super smug about it. Like, he's very proud of his small-town police job. We and got a call from a fucking church that was... So we got a yeah, call the church that was for, right next uh, to uh, disturbing your the peace. house. Are you guys um, trying to find out about our pedophilia going on around here? Oh, it was a Catholic church. We got a, we got a, call, <laughs> we got a call about some vandalism in the area. Right. And so and I'm like, like what? Don't go near that keep basement. in mind, this is where we start to get really fucking nervous because dipshit earlier, we are, we earlier that day, these clear <laughs> airsoft guns. So our fingers were covered in black spray paint because we were trying to, do, we were shooting a video and we spray painted these clear airsoft guns to make them look real. And know? yeah, so we have black paint on our fingertips. So the whole time we all look at each other and are like, at this point, because we're like talking about vandalism, we look and at each we're other. We're fucked. We all communicate telepathically. Put your hands in your pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly. Yeah, we're all, all just three instinct. just kind of like. Uh, <laughs> I had a hoodie on. I was like, hey, what's going on? And uh, yeah, and then you're like, well, what's going on? Well, we're staying I, over here, like really, literally yeah, across the street. Oh, I get it. I get it. You're staying at his house. He's staying at yours. You're staying at there. Yeah. Like, no, we're all literally staying here. We all looked um, at him. Nope. I live like two blocks or across the feet, fucking uh, street. Yeah. I live across this fucking street. It wasn't even a street. On. It was an alley. So it was like no, we not even no, a it was one right in the middle of the rock road. It was like a and I rock could walk road. On two feet to my fucking to my dirt. So stupid. And then to he like puts dirt. us all in the back seat, 
We drive not even like ten feet around the corner to the house. And he like gets us all out to have a big conversation with Mike and Ann. And then he throws me in the back seat again and he's talking to me. And he, we drive up oh, to my, you ha- had to my drive parents' home. house. I was like, this is fucking stupid. Because Jake got scot free. Got away scot free. Yeah, because I was 16. Which is so fucking stupid. I didn't get Because me and Tommy were like a month away from fuck, well, fucking being 16. It would be like if I worked late yeah. at a job. You, you, at 16, you can do that. And stupid. 15, you can't. 14, you can get a job. That's true. You just can't work past seven. So, yeah. <laughs> Which why what I was doing in my youth, I was working till like fucking two a.m. Sometimes that was the, an, the most annoying thing about that whole experience was the fact that we were like, "Fuck it, let's go home," and then that's when we get stopped by the yeah. cops. And we, we did, and you guys had to go to court for that. Yeah, we had to go to court, and we could tell the fucking judge was like, "This is fucking stupid." Right, and it was even funnier is is Tommy's mom was just like, "Why did you do that? Why did you go outside?" 4 a.m. Like, watch side and stay up all night in here. And we were like, we wanted the thrill, you know? Because <laughs> we would always sneak out of the house late at night. Just, just, for to, the, just to be outside. Just for the shits and gigs. Yeah. yeah. It was never to do drugs or anything like that. It, we were always just dicking we're, around. We're fucking night owls. Yeah, True. we didn't we go to bed. Up. Every, every time we were together, we stayed up all fucking night. Yeah. Do you remember that one time, I don't know, I was like 12? When we had the birthday Smash party, Brothers. birthday party playing Smash Bros. Like it just came out. I got it. We were fucking up all night playing on six N sixty four. John Johnny goes upstairs to sleep on the couch. Eric is passed the fuck out in the middle of the basement. And then we were drawing and we just fucking things. put shit in his asshole. <laughs> we were pouring we were, we were, like, sticking paper in it. Yeah, we were like pouring water down cheeks. his crack, and he was not doing anything. Yeah. Jesus Christ! He's just sleeping. He's just like. Mwah, mwah. Awful. Right? Because because so we were like, dude, Eric doesn't wake up for anything. Watch. And then we were like, See, this is stuff. proof that like twelve year old boys need to be institutionalized. <laughs> because who <laughs> does shit like that? He was like, let's put a fly paper airplane into his butthole. <laughs> we legit were having a competition. Oh my god! To see who could get the fucking airsoft or the airsoft the airplane <laughs> so into his butthole. Dude, just check this. <laughs> <laughs> and he had his underwear on, so we're just literally just hitting. His oh my it. goodness! That was great shit. I remember we used to do that to Donnie, yeah, Tommy. <laughs> to oh my that. god, he that motherfucker! What's what's Dogface doing these days? I don't, he's doing a lot of stuff. Um, so <laughs> he's the son I never had. He's the boy I wish I was. Uh, no, he was sleeping on the couch, and Tommy and I were up late. Playing video games. I go, Tommy, watch this. I took out a barbecue chip. <laughs> and I walk over to his face and I just rub it on his lip. And he just like wheels his head back real fast and then immediately just drops his mouth open and he's like, <laughs> 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 And then he would keep doing he's like and then eventually he was like, Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> uh, I give a heel. I'm telling you, like boys are Crazy oh, we're assholes, man. There's that one time I uh, fell asleep. You guys weren't with me, but there's one time I remember the first time I ever saw two girls, one cup. No, I was like, what? Because that, that was coming around. When we were in middle school. We should go get a uh, two girl, two swirls, one cup. <laughs> by the way, that was a pretty good zombie burger. Yes, but I remember sitting there uh. watching it, and I remember thinking, why do people watch this? Why do we do in this? Because that was huge when we were in like seventh and eighth grade. Uh, where are you going? You're not anywhere to go. I'm hungry. You're always hungry. Just, just fuck, fuck, shut the fuck up. This is why I don't like. Fuck up. That's why I don't like having Tommy on my show because hungry, hungry. He gets like this hungry. all the time. Hungry, hungry. In the middle of recording one time, he just turned on the TV, and I'm like, "Hey, man, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> trying to do a show here." <laughs> He's laughing because he knows he did it. Uh, you have any more great memories together? No. No. They're all fuck. dead. The night that we kissed each other. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yuck. All right, so. I don't share this story. So these two guys, they're like going in for like a super dramatic like. We're playing gay ti- t- Titanic kiss. And like they both like look away from each other. They're like, oh, dude, you're so gay. Oh, you're going to do it. And then I just come in and go. No, 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 no. You're telling that story wrong, Luke, because. You weren't in the room. 
at first because we, we went gay chicken and then Tommy went I went ninety, got up in his face, and I was about ready to pull back and laugh at him. But then he went ten and kissed me. And I don't care what Tommy tries to tell you, he kissed me. Yeah. I did not kiss him. <laughs> no, I did not. Point is we kissed. And then I was like, Oh what the hell? <laughs> we were both shocked by the situation. And then yeah, Luke came in and was like It's like kissing your it's mom. Like, kiss dude. your mom, dude. And just Kiss Jake, yeah. and Jake is like, what the hell? <laughs> what? And Tommy goes, ew. And I just kiss him, too. I was like, dude, kiss your mom. Fine. So, uh, Luke kissed Adam on ears. going to go get some Taco Bell. I did uh, kiss Adam on ears. What Taco John's? Yeah. <laughs> Six pack and a pound's key. How about we wait till? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> probably hurt like a bitch. I hate that shit. All right, I think that's... Wait till Ashley gets here. I think that's enough for... No. One more memory. Well, we still got two if other. We can, if we parts. can think of, no, this is the reminiscing we still got episode. Two fucking the parts, next one is Luke. like an actual like the future topic. Oh and my god! The third god. one is just bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna kick your fucking. Because it's it's gotta be it's gotta be it's gotta be the same thing, but each movie's different. You know right. what I'm saying? So like three different. I parts. missed I missed just talking. Three to you different guys. things. So that's, this is this is us just reminiscing. Oh my so god! If we can we think gotta of do one more spectacular. I'll set it. Fuck you, Tom. Spectacular. <laughs> I'll set it. Spectacular. It's fucking particular, right? Spectacular. We have to have it's particular thing of things. Particular <laughs> and spectacular. Spectacular. Uh, particular. What's your particular? <laughs> spectacular. What's your other memory? No, I'm just saying you guys have one before we end it. Do I? Because um, I brought up the kissing thing because I thought that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, no, we're not doing. Remember no that more. time? Uh, oh my god. We <laughs> in the car and I go boom saw is ready. Yeah, I remember. Oh, that wasn't funny at all. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah. you <laughs> fucking asshole. I'm kidding. Remember that time? Uh, you fucked a cow. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> go for it. I'm trying <laughs> to think. Skip to the end. Because there's so many. There's so many good memories. I'm trying to remember, but the one that I laughed at the most would be the one that we mentioned with staying out late. But now I have to think of another one. Uh, mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I would say New Year's 2015 was probably one of my favorite yeah. memories. That's pretty good because. That was a funny year because that was a year where I should have got laid that night with that one chick. She wanted me so fucking bad. No, was that was that, that the year dude after that he was got really kicked cool. out? So was that New Year's twenty thirteen into fourteen? That was fourteen into fifteen. I remember because I was at I went to two New Year's parties that night. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Ashley was nice enough to drive, so I got shitty at both parties. But I yes. I had gotten there later because I told Luke. I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to another party. And he's like, whatever, dude, I'm not even mad. But he, he's like, fuck you. <laughs> he's like really upset on the phone. But I'm like, no, I got a plan. I'll go to both. I'll hit them both. I'll go to Derek's for like a couple hours. And then I'll hit you up around like right before midnight, maybe 11 midnight. Like, All right, dude, you fucking sold me. Let's do this. But he's like, you've got to be here before midnight. That was his thing because he wanted the ball drop and all that. So, uh, yeah, I get there around, I get there almost at midnight, which is funny. I get there like 11.30. I come in. I'm already sauced. Luke's girlfriend, Maddie, now fiance, she's, she is uh, gone. And it's sort of oh, funny because yeah. she slapped I, both of us at this point. She slapped. Yeah, oh, we'll get to that. But I get there, and then I totally didn't know about this, or maybe you mentioned it to get me to come, but I saw a picture of Tommy, and it was one of those times where we hadn't seen Tommy in a while. And I was like, oh, shit, now it's an event. Whenever we get Tommy, it's like, it's a trilogy day. Oh, yeah. We, we, so try to, we try to just fucking get all the fucking fun jam-packed in this, like, one night. Right. If we get a weekend, yeah. it's phenomenal. But it's at least one night we have to do that. Right, we did that on uh, my birthday last year. That's yeah. I, that's another one. I just gave you one, Tommy. Uh, but, yeah, so I get there, get around 11. That The picture that we're referring, and I'll put it in... Uh, as like the thumbnail <laughs> of yes. us, but it's no. There's a better one of this, but it's all of us huddled around laughing. But the the best one that we ever took, all three of us have our head cocked back and we're laughing, mm-hmm. and that like Ashley took the in the kitchen perfect picture the at kitchen, the right point we, because we, we, we always hung out in the kitchen. Something about it. But that night was great because I was already really drunk, and when I got to the party, everybody else was super drunk. It's always lame when you go to a party and you're the only one shitty. Oh yeah, and everybody's. Yeah. 
not and that hasn't like, started drinking yet. And I was you're drunk. Like, yeah. six, like let's fucking party. I was like drunk dad mode in that night too. Yeah, like, but that's how you, like, that's how you fuckers get with me all the time. I try Once to I'm like fucking watch around. Mode, you guys are like chill, chill, and I'm like fuck you, rage. <laughs> but I was you like drink trying so much because this so is my time. place. I'm trying to like monitor the whole car. fucking business. I'm trying to like watch everybody, but I'm trashed. So I like I don't care, but I do because this is my place. Yeah. And then we just kind of like giggled. And then we all actually had uh, champagne. (laughs) And we all. I wish you could have been here. Actually, that day, Patty's Patty's parents were like, hey, we'll buy you alcohol. How much much (laughs) shit do you need? So me and Tommy. Look at it. Me and Tommy drive all the way to all the way to her parents' house. Look at it. And (laughs) why are you raging? But raging, we, we literally like pull inches. up to their house and we open the door. They just load up a bunch of fucking alcohol in there. And we close the door and we're like, wow, we just did this. And we drive all the way back. And we just start setting up and getting drunk. Shut yeah. up. This is also around the time when I had Corona to work the next camp. day. I had to work the next day after that and went to De Leon's in Lincoln and got a big ass hash brown burrito, their breakfast burrito. Yeah. Let's go get some uh, six packs in town. Let's stop spending money. Fuck you, Jake. So, yeah, I think that's, uh, unless you got a story, Tommy, that is your favorite memory of us. Uh, One of your favorite memories. Memory. I don't have a memory. Whatever. All right, thanks so much for listening to another episode of... We're the making G- the best memory tonight. Right now with our friends. The thanks best. so much for listening to part one. Part of, one. Stop it. Of the trilogy... <laughs> You don't smile at me. I hate you know I hate when you interrupt people. Fuck you. Just, thank you, know you once again and I'm thank just, you for I'm just listening gonna re- to our <laughs> podcast of part one. I'm cutting it off. I'm gonna pre record the outro. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh the trilogy part one. It's gonna be uh really interesting to see what the next few episodes we have planned for this saga. But uh, thank you so much for listening, and you can follow us on social media. You can follow us on Twitter at Loud Opinionated. You can like us on Facebook, Loud and Opinionated, and you can follow us on Instagram, Loud and Opinionated Brand. And have a great rest of your day or whenever you're listening to this, and most importantly, be loud and be proud. <laughs> <laughs>